All right, welcome to uh, B407. I'm here today to talk to you about the Postgraduate Certificate in Financial Planning at George Brown College. And did you know, I am so proud of this program. It is one of our leading programs that gets one of the best KPIs in the entire School of Accounting and Finance and even in the School of Business. But before I try to give you all the particulars that you need to know about this program, I want to give you some facts. And I think that many of you, as you are considering a postgraduate certificate, really are looking for a job, a career. Well, did you know that Toronto hosts the most stable banking system in the entire world? Did you know that Toronto is the second largest financial center in North America? And last but not least, did you know that over the last 10 years, Toronto has the fastest growing financial sector worldwide. So yes, we are growing. And one of the biggest components within that um, banking industry that is seeing unprecedented growth is financial planning and all of the, um, uh, you know, ancillary um, careers such as investments, such as taxation that go along with it. So today I'm gonna to talk about our post-grad certificate in financial planning. And um, we're going to take a look at um, what makes um, the financial planning program at George Brown College special. Um, we're going to look at the um, structure of the program and what it gets you as well as of course, how you make those important industry connections and last but not least, but very important, how to apply. So why choose the B407 program at George Brown College? There are lots of other postgrad certificates in financial planning in sort of the GTA area, not downtown like we are. Um, but I will say that I am very uh, proud. I've been in this industry for a long time. And I can say that if I scan across all of the programs in the GTA area for financial planning and probably across Ontario that um, George Brown College has the most faculty with um, relevant credentials, including the CFP on our full-time faculty. Um, we have strong connections with FP Canada. Um, I'm on their board of directors, for example, and we participate with them on in um, all sorts of initiatives, as well as updating the pathways and what you need to know for a professional um, career in financial planning. As I said, um, what um, FP Canada and CSI, they're all contributors to our curriculum, but we also have a vibrant program advisory committee that um, gives us input into what is most relevant and on a timely basis in our curriculum. So for example, our program advisory committee recently told us that given COVID, um, that you know, it is even more important that our students have effective writing skills because um, no longer are they meeting with clients, but often the meetings that used to happen face-to-face -face are now happening via email. And so um, we have to um, try to hone those. And um, we are nimble enough that we can uh, make sure that our students uh, get what they need to satisfy the employers um, on a ad hoc, uh, on a current basis. We are one of the most diverse students, uh, student bases in all of Ontario without question. Um, when you say George Brown College, we are diverse, we take international students, but even Toronto itself has um, such diversity, both in community and um, in the greater community, um, you know, living in Toronto, there's um, lots of diversity and um, experience um, when it comes to personal financial planning is important on a worldwide basis. The B407, what um, do you need to know? Well, we now as of um, have intakes in fall and winter, which has been our system all along. But starting in 2022, we will um, take a new cohort in um, the spring. This is important for you to know as a student because sometimes 
Um, and the post-grad certificate is a very concentrated curriculum in financial planning. And um, sometimes students, for whatever reason, don't finish each semester. And um, the fact that we are offering cohorts each and every semester um, allows you that if for some reason you didn't um, get to take a course in one semester, it should be offered fairly short after. One of the things that we take great pride in at George Brown College is that our class size is um, still very small. And that includes even when we've had to go to alternate delivery. So I know that some other colleges, once they went to alternate delivery, they've opened up their class size and you could have a hundred students sitting in your class. Well, you know what, with still one professor, that's reflected throughout the curriculum. Our curriculum is built in a way that we are used to having small class sizes. The largest, the cap is about 50 students. And um, that reflects well, not only in um, when we are teaching in person, but even online, um, when we have taught online, it allows us to incorporate group activities and things along those lines. Whereas I could not possibly do that if I was sitting with an online class of 100. Semesters and scheduling. Um, as I said, when it comes to the B407 program, we take you in a cohort. So in your 50 students that you join with, you will have classes with them every um, day. You're in the same classroom with the same 50 students um, as you progress along the program. And generally, um, well, I'm gonna show you the courses in a minute, but generally, um, the schedule works out that often you will um, have classes three days, sometimes four days, but it's not usually five days where you will have a class. And some students like that because then they can work on the extra day. Um, here's a look at our courses. And some of you would be saying to me, well, Carolyn, you know what? I'm very interested in this program, but my um, degree that I got already is in political science or perhaps sociology. That is absolutely fine because RB407 starts at the beginning and takes you right to the end. We don't presume any, um, we don't presume any previous knowledge of business or finance, all right? So we teach you starting with a math course. Um, and that's very important and very distinguished between other programs. Other programs sort of throw the math in and presume that you're going to catch on. Um, whereas we dedicate one whole course to the math of finance um, because we think it's so important. You're going to learn, take two investments courses. And these courses mirror the Canadian securities course. So when you graduate or as you're going along, um, you would still have to go to the Canadian Securities Institute, but you could take this Canadian Securities exam. And that is often um, seen as one key component to get any job in financial services. Personal financial planning and retirement planning. Retirement planning is taking on a whole new uh, facet in the industry um, as the baby boomers head towards um, as the baby boomers head towards retirement. So it's very um, important and a key, fund, a key uh, part of where the industry is going. Um, and trend wise, I'm going to say that in the next 10 years, retirement planning, helping these baby boomers retire is going to become even more critical. A personal favorite of mine is income tax fundamentals. I know people groan when you say the words income tax. I often teach that course and um, I tell my students that I'll save them or somebody they know $20 every single um, class. When you move to second semester, you're going to take again the second insurance course, a second tax class. We then um, uh, introduce you to insurance and financial planning which uh, mirrors a licensing course if you should want to become licensed in financial planning or in to sell life insurance. Estate planning and advanced financial planning brings it all together. Um, 
and really, really um, takes the components from all the courses you've um, learned before. You're going to see here that, um, you know, there's lots of prerequisites for that um, course. And um, often I teach that course and it um, is where we bring everything together so that you are equipped to help a client. And um, in the conclusion of that course, you will create your own personal financial plan. Uh, Carolyn, sorry to interrupt, but there's some questions. Would you wanna take them as we go or you wanna wait till the end? Well, I'm looking at the question from Mina right now. Thank oh, okay, great, great, and, okay. Um, Mina, I was going to answer your question already in my presentation. Um, and Mina asks, is it a co-op program? Um, and if I don't study math in high school, may I enroll in this program? So absolutely, as a, um, you know, you, as I mentioned, you don't have to have studied math in high school. Um, as long as you have a degree, our math for finance course will bring you up to speed where you want to be. And the, what we do in math for finance is a little bit different than what we do in, um, you would have done in high school math. In high school math, it's more um, relations and calculus, whereas this is really um, talking about time value of money and looking at future values. So two different slants on the math. Another key question, and I always, always get it, and thank you for bringing it up, Mina, is, is it a co-op program? Well, you know what? I'm going to tell you that George, Brown, uh, the faculty at George Brown College, when this program was developed many years ago, thought really long and hard about whether to make this a co-op program. Now, with a co-op program, you have to, in order to graduate, have a approved co-op term. And we made the distinct decision not to make that a requirement. Now you might say, why would you do that? Because we want to get a job. Well, um, we did it consciously because two reasons. When you grad take these, this eight month program, you are ready for full-time employment. Our employers are not interested in hiring you for a four month stint. They are interested in hiring you for good. And I don't have um, last year's stats with COVID and such, but it is over 90% of our students in this program are generally employed within the industry within six to nine months. Some of them will walk out with offers before they graduate. Um, and you might say, well, but I, I'm quite confident in saying that sometimes it just takes a little while, but within six months, especially if you have your Canadian securities course, um, you, you will find employment in a financial services organization, you know, with the appropriate effort. We also give you a career planning course, which makes you ready for full-time employment. Now you might say, well, why not a co-op? Because then it's already all set. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. In the world of financial planning and financial services, in order to do many jobs, you might have to be licensed to sell securities or licensed to sell um, insurance. It doesn't mean that you are actually doing those activities. You might say, I don't want a sales job. But sometimes when you are a financial planning assistant, and you are assisting a financial planner who does engage in the recommendation of securities or engage in the recommendation of life insurance, the assistants also have to be licensed. So that's another barrier um, when you're going for a co-op job because students aren't going to get licensed um, for a four month um, position, nor are employers going to sponsor you to do so. However, if they want to hire you full time, the employer will pay often for the, um, there's a couple little licensing courses that you would have to take um, beyond uh, George Brown. And if you're being hired on a full time basis, your employer will pay those for you. So it is absolutely a, um, 
It's absolutely a, a consideration of ours. And we didn't want to put barriers to graduation. We want to give you what you need to know and send you on your way um, with the confidence that you will succeed um, in the industry. And um, again, the slide that's on the screen right now is speaking to that. Um, our program is eight months in duration, but you will see that um, you will be um, ready to write the CSC um, Canadian Securities course one and two upon completion. We teach you everything you need to know. If you choose to write any of these additional industry opportunities, you have to do it um, with the industry organization. But we qualify you and teach you what you need to know for the Canadian Securities course, the LLQP, which is the life licensing exam, um, the QAFP, which is um, the entry level, if you will, um, financial planning credential, as well as the CFP. So our program within eight months gives you everything that you need um, that you can get from a post-secondary institution to go to the CFP also. And you have to take a couple courses with FP Canada before you actually get to the CFP exam, but we give you um, eligibility otherwise. So Mina, I hope that answers your question. That was a very good question and, um, you know, a very important distinction. As I mentioned, we have all sorts of industry connections within our faculty. We are very close with the industry as well as FP Canada. Um, we are, um, you know, recently updated our curriculum um, in order and have been approved as both a core curriculum and an advanced curriculum provider. So this program provides you both the core and advanced curriculum. So you then have your choice if you would like to go to your QAFP or CFP exam. And most of all, and I think if you ask me what I am so proud of this um, program for, is our strong history of satisfied employers. I have now a network of employers who will indirectly drop me a line saying, you know what, we're hiring for this role. Carolyn, do you have any um, grads coming out that you think might fit this or who, any students who have interest in this? And, um, you know, again, and as more and more graduates go out there, they want to come back to George Brown College and hire. All right. As far as going to the professional exams, our, our we have a very um, good history, both from a success rate and numbers. Most of our graduates will take the Canadian Securities course one and two. And um, we have very, very qualified um, faculty. Michael Halenka is very well known in the industry and he teaches those courses on most occasions in this program. Um, so, you know, we also give out of all the post-secondary institutions, we, we do have, I, I don't know the numbers of all of them, but I have a sense that, um, you know, we are a good provider to the CFP and the QAFP exams. What can George Brown College provide you as far as networking um, opportunities? Again, most recently in the world of COVID, um, you know, this has been a challenge, but, Every single year, myself and my uh, co-coordinator of this program, we enter a team in the, into the CIFPS financial planning case competition. And um, I'm proud to say that last year, even in a virtual environment, we came in uh, second place. And the year prior to that, um, I guess that would have been 2019, because 2020 was canceled, um, we won not only the uh, Eastern Division, but we won the National Championships in Vancouver. And it was a great experience for our students to go out there. Um, they were students from the B407 program, and they went to uh, Vancouver. Um, all expenses paid by the organization and um, competed out there. And they were, I'm so proud that they won the National Championships. Um, we regularly will have employers on campus. As I said, Michael Halinka, he will often um, spearhead um, different types of financial um, services speakers coming onto campus. Um, and um, 
I am always involved as the program coordinator with our program advisory committee. And we are developing even right now as we speak uh, an opportunity for speed mentoring, um, which is where we get um, people from the industry, sort of like speed dating, except um, you go around and you get to spend like three minutes with somebody from the industry on a one-on-one -on -one basis. So you can get start to figure out what is it that you want to do. As I mentioned, the careers and the job prospects are quite um, uh, high. Do I think that you're going to leave this program and land in your dream job right after graduation? Mm, probably not. You usually have to take a stepping stone to get in. But I can tell you that within one, after one year of being in the industry, I see our students flourish and you know start to specialize, whether it be in financial planning or investments. Um, and uh, they leverage the getting into the organization to really figure out what they want to do. The one thing I can say is in the financial planning wealth management arena right now, there are so many opportunities and many of them within the financial institutions are not commission based. So a lot of students say, I, don't, I want a salary job. Well, many, many financial institutions are um, you know, building financial planning hubs where you are a salaried plus bonus financial um, planner. How to apply? Well, if you go on to the landing page for the B407, there's a link to apply both for domestic and international students. And you will see right down below there that um, we have intakes. Um, again, well, obviously fall 2021 is closed, but winter 2022 uh, and spring 2022 are open. All right, and um, again, for international students, winter 2022 might be a little bit tight at this point, um, unless everything is in order. So the way it is um, for winter 2022, for that intake, for any of you who are still interested in that program, um, the way it works is all of semester one will be alternate delivery, um, i.e. online, and um, you know, I would anticipate, but keep in mind, this is an in-class program at this point. Um, so you would be pretty much expecting that the second semester is in class. That is, we are start going back to class. So my intake from fall 2021, we are going back to class in January. But I, it is confirmed that winter 2022, if you are starting, that will be all, all turn online. Um, so maybe for some of the international students who can't get here in the time frame, you, if, it, if you could still get approved, you could start online. But, um, you know, unless you hear otherwise, you would have the expectation that you would have to be here uh, come May 1st. So now I will leave it open to you for any other questions. Um, and, you know, I, I totally appreciate that your questions come right after you log off this um, session. So, um, you know, the general um, business web, um, email address here will give you more general questions about scheduling and things along those lines. Um, but of course, you can take my personal email and uh, drop me a line with any further questions. At this time, I'll open it up to you. Uh, I believe you have to type it into the chat. Okay, that's a great question. Will this course help in a CPA as well? Um, other than the personal tax course and perhaps personal financial planning, where we talk about financial statements and individual um, net worth, it is not directly related to the CPA. As you see, I'm a CPA. It is a great specialization. Um, but, you know, when I did pursue the CFP, because there is some overlap between the two um, programs, but not a ton. I did take a qualifying program still to pursue my CFP. Um, so this program will help anyone who wants to get control of their financial, own financial, um, you know, future. Um, and certainly the personal tax um, will help you, but there's components of the CPA curriculum, such as advanced accounting issues, um, such as, um, you know, management accounting. How do you analyze the operations uh, and profitability of a business? 
and that's not covered here at all. Again, the personal tax would be a significant overlap for sure, but and would help you when you take tax in a CPA stream. Um, but um, you know, overall, there and there's probably not a ton of overlap. Thank you for joining us today, and um, I hope that you, um, you know, if you're going to another session, uh, have a great experience here with George Brown College.